Welcome to Sunny's, the car wash factory. In conjunction with this training video, please reference each component's owner's manual, available at sunnysdirect.com, before performing any installation, repair, or maintenance procedure. Each manual details specific requirements and settings necessary for the safe operation and maintenance of your car wash equipment. All right, welcome to Sunny's, the car wash factory. I'm Robert Andre with the Car Wash College. And what we're going to talk about now is maintenance on our H25 pump stand. What we have here is a double H25 pump stand. So you've got two pumps sharing one tank. With the H25 pump stand, some important things on the pump when it comes to maintenance is daily. Listen for any unusual noises. If you hear any unusual noises coming from the, the pump, you want to investigate and see where they're uh, coming from. Um, also, sometimes daily, maybe weekly, is going to be cleaning out this filter right here. It's going to depend on the type of water you're using. If you're using reclaimed water, this could be a daily activity. If you're using uh, a good, clean, quality source of fresh water, this may never need to be done. To clean out this filter, you simply turn off the ball valve. If you don't turn off the ball valve first, you're going to get a shower. So you turn that off. Then when you pull this off, there's still going to be a little bit of water that comes out, so you're not going to want to get too close to it when you're pulling it off. When you pull this off, we're going to see that this particular filter is doing its job. We can tell this guy's doing its job because inside of here, you can see all this little trash that's caught inside the filter. All this trash that's in here, if it, uh, the filter doesn't catch it, that's going to end up uh, inside the nozzles, clogging off the nozzles. So we would take this to a, uh, a sink, a water source, a hose, something along those lines. We'd wash this out and uh, clean it. I'm going to give this to... Um, one of my helpers, they're going to take this and clean it, and they'll bring it back in just a minute for us. So while we're waiting for them to clean that off, I'm going to show you a few other things on this. Weekly, we have to check the pump level. Um, you can check the pump level two ways on the pump. One, um, if the pump's up high like this one, you can open it up. You can stick your head in here, and you can look in and see the level of the lubricant. If you can't see the level of the lubricant, the other way you can do it is by taking your finger, sticking your finger down inside and making sure that there is in fact fluid inside the unit. These H25 pumps will give you years of trouble free service as long as they have two things. Those two things is plenty of, of water being fed from the water source. If they run dry, they like to cavitate which can cause severe damage to the pump and plenty of oil. So we want to make sure we've got water always being fed and our oil level is adequate. Also on a monthly basis, we're going to check the tension on our belts. When we check the tension on our belts, we're going to remove the belt cover. We're also at that time going to inspect the belts, looking for any signs of uh, premature wear, cracking, stretching, anything along those lines. If we did need to remove our belts or tighten our belts, if we need to replace our belts, we always replace them as a set. In that case, this set on this would be three belts. If we needed to remove our belts, to remove our belts, we've made it very easy on this pump. You simply loosen up these four three-quarter bolts that hold the pump tight. Down under over here, right underneath the frame, you can't see it on the camera right now, but there's a bolt directly under here. That's a tensioning bolt. As you turn the bolt one way or the other, it'll push the entire motor forward or backwards to either take the belts off or provide tension to the belts. So that's how we're going to provide service on our belts. My helper's back with our nice clean filter. So I'm gonna take my clean filter. It's important when putting the filter in, we don't crush the edges of the filter. If we crush the edges, it's not going to do its job. Sometimes after years of cleaning, they can get uh, beyond their usable life. We do sell replacements of these that are available uh, through Sunny's. We're going to take this guy. We're going to, best way to put it on is to look inside of here. We're going to pop it back on, ensuring that it's on. If it's on, it'll hold itself in place nice and even like that. Then we can put the strainer cover, filter cover back on looking at it while we're putting it on to make sure we don't crush the edges of the filter. Once we've got it in, we're just going to hand tight, no need to over snug it. We're going to open our water back up. We'll see that it'll start to fill. After we put it on, we're going to check for any leaks. Another important thing with these pumps to note is when they're brand new like this unit is, or if you order a replacement pump, sometimes they will come with this plastic seal on your oil cap. There's a, what's called a breather up here. This is to protect the breather so no trash can get in there during shipping. You have to cut this off. It does have a sticker on there letting you know remove before uh, use. So we've gone ahead and removed that on this particular one. We also have over here our regulator. This is where we're going to increase or decrease the pressure on the pump. Our pressure will be shown right here on the uh, gauge. 
Typically, the Omnis or spinners, most of those are going to operate somewhere between 600 to 800 pounds. To adjust the pressure, we simply release our jam nut. We're going to get a one inch wrench. We're going to put it on here, and we're going to go up, we'll decrease the pressure. Going down, we'll increase the pressure. You're going to adjust the pressure to the reading that you're looking for, somewhere between six and 800 pounds. Once you've achieved pressure, you're going to go ahead and snug back down your jam nut to hold it in place. Another uh, common thing with these guys is these regulators right here will go bad. They have a little hole right over here. You'll actually see on this one, there's a little bit of uh, grease that I took out of the hole that comes from the factory. Over time, there's a O-ring down in here, a seal. It'll go bad and they'll start shooting water out of there. Very easy rebuild kit, not a lot to it. Uh, very easy for somebody that's uh, mechanically inclined um, to rebuild and we do sell those rebuild kits. It's a lot cheaper than replacing the entire um, unit. And uh, that is our service on our H25. Thank you for watching this maintenance overview video. Please visit sunnysdirect.com and review the complete owner's manual before attempting any installation, maintenance, or repair of this component. There you'll learn necessary procedures, settings, and other considerations required for the safe operation of your car wash equipment.